It's commonly believed that metabolism slows down with age. This belief is often presented as fact and is thought to be the reason why many people find it harder and harder to lose weight as they get older. But is this actually true or is it just an easy way for people to justify their weight gain? In this video, we'll be discussing the relationship between metabolism and age and see what the science has to say about this popular claim. But first, let's discuss what metabolism is and how it works. Metabolism refers to the various chemical and physical processes in the body that transform the calories we eat into the functions that keep our bodies running. Metabolism involves four primary components, the basal metabolic rate or BMR, thermic effect of food or TEF, exercise activity thermogenesis, and non-exercise activity thermogenesis, also known as NEAT. BMR is the number of calories your body burns to perform essential functions like breathing and circulation, and it accounts for approximately 60% of your total daily energy expenditure. TEF is the number of calories you burn digesting food, and it's influenced by the macronutrient content of your meals and the level of processing the food has undergone. This generally accounts for about 10% of your total daily energy expenditure. Exercise activity thermogenesis refers to the number of calories you burn during exercise, which can vary greatly depending on the type of workouts you're performing and the intensity. As the name suggests, non-exercise activity thermogenesis is the number of calories you burn from any activity that isn't exercise, such as fidgeting, walking to your car, brushing your teeth, and so on. While NEAT can also vary greatly between individuals, it typically accounts for about 300 calories per day for most people. The way metabolism is studied is by measuring the amount of calories an individual burns on a daily basis. One method used to achieve this is known as the doubly labeled water method, where people drink water containing traceable forms of hydrogen and oxygen, and scientists analyze the urine to track how much of it is excreted. This allows them to calculate the amount of carbon dioxide the person's body produces, as every calorie burn produces a specific amount. In 2021, researchers from 63 universities pulled data from people of various ages who had participated in studies that utilized this method. They divided the results into four life stages. Neonates, 0 to 1 years old, juveniles, 1 to 20 years old, adults, 20 to 60 years old, and older adults, over 60. The main question they sought to answer was, at what point does an individual's metabolism slow down? The results of this study show that the metabolic rate of infants 0 to 1 years old is faster than at any other point in a person's life relative to their body weight. This is due to the fact that infants are small and grow quickly, so their metabolism needs to work harder to support this growth. As a person goes through childhood and adolescence, their metabolic rate continues to increase, but the difference between their rate and an adult's is not as significant once adjusted for body size. From the age of 20, the size-adjusted energy expenditure declines by about 3% per year until it stabilizes. Despite the belief that teenagers require more calories to fuel growth spurts, this study found that their relative calorie needs are almost the same as adults. In adulthood, the metabolic rate remains stable for both men Men and women. After the age of 60, the metabolic rate declines about 1% per year, resulting in a rate that is about 25% slower at 90 years old compared to when the person was 60. This metabolism and age chart shows that as we get older, our bodies burn fewer calories to perform essential functions, resulting in a lower basal metabolic rate. While the decline in metabolic rate cannot be completely avoided, it can be influenced by certain factors. You see, the study also found that a higher amount of fat-free mass is associated with a higher energy expenditure. In other words, 
increasing muscle mass will increase metabolic rate while muscle loss would have the opposite effect. This is because muscle tissue requires a lot of energy and therefore burns a large number of calories. It's also why your jacked buddy at the gym can seemingly eat whatever he wants and never lose his six pack. That said, an in shape 50 year old man can have a faster metabolic rate than a 20 year old adult who sits around all day playing video games. So what happens to your metabolism once you reach your 30s, 40s, 50s or beyond? Well, not much, unless you're not maintaining or building new muscle tissue. In that case, you may experience a significant slowdown in your metabolism. Fortunately, there are several ways to increase your metabolic rate. Number one, physical activity. One of the most effective methods is to engage in weightlifting as this helps to build muscle. In fact, research has shown that around 80% of the variation in BMR between individuals can be attributed to muscle mass. People with higher muscle mass tend to have faster metabolisms, while those with lower muscle mass may have slower metabolisms. Another way to boost your metabolism is by increasing your non-exercise activity thermogenesis, or NEAT, which is the energy you expend during everyday activities. To increase your NEAT, you can stand while working, take daily walks, avoid sitting or standing still whenever possible, walk instead of drive, and always take the stairs. Number two, diet. The most effective way to increase your metabolic rate through diet is to consume more protein. Compared to carbs and fats, protein has the highest thermic effect. In other words, the body expends more energy to process and use protein than it does carbs or fats. The thermic effect of protein is generally estimated to be around 20 to 30%, which means that for every 100 calories of protein consumed, the body will burn an additional 20 to 30 calories in order to process and use it. This is in contrast to carbs and fats, which have a thermic effect of around 5 to 15% or 0 to 5% respectively. A good starting point is to aim for 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight per day. Not only will this help you boost your metabolism, but a high protein diet can also help you build muscle, which as we discussed, further increases your basal metabolic rate. And number three, supplements, more specifically, caffeine. Caffeine is a stimulant that is found in various foods and beverages, including coffee, tea, and chocolate, and it's also available in supplement form. While caffeine is well known for its ability to increase alertness and improve mental and physical performance, it also has been shown to increase energy expenditure. You see, when caffeine is consumed, it stimulates the central nervous system and causes the body to burn more calories. In addition, the improved energy and performance brought about by caffeine may also result in an increase in physical activity and energy expenditure. In conclusion, this idea that you're unable to lose fat because your metabolism is slowed down is, to put it simply, incorrect. The research is very clear that changes in metabolism as you age are almost insignificant. The weight you're gaining has very little to do with your metabolic rate and more to do with energy balance. In other words, if you're gaining weight, it's simply because you're consuming more calories than you're burning. The good news is, a few simple lifestyle changes such as lifting weights and consuming more protein can significantly improve our metabolism. Did you find this video helpful? If so, click the like button below as it'll truly help out the channel. Also, if you're an intermediate or advanced lifter who's looking to get absolutely shredded without cutting out your favorite foods or doing hours of cardio each week, grab a copy of my brand new program, Shredded 12 Fat Loss. This is the only science-based fat loss program of its kind that protects your hard-earned muscle mass and strength and gives you a shredded physique in just 12 weeks. And right now, you can get an additional 25% off by using the coupon code RIPPED25. 
If you want to learn more, click the link in the description below. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more videos and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next one. Peace.